Hey, this is Andrew from AJS Woodworks, and I'm here with my dog Derby to review the Chris Christensen Big G Slicker Brush. This is the brush here. There's three sizes, a small, a large, and an extra large. This is the large size. So I picked this brush up due to a recommendation from a friend who was recommended to get it from a dog groomer friend of his. I was a little hesitant because of the price, but I saw the good results that he had had. And uh, when you have a collie like mine, you need a, a good brush to, to take away all the hair. I picked it up um, and I'm really happy with it. I'll show you the results after I brush her and why I'm so happy with it, but it seems to be a really good brush. As far as the quality of how the brush is made, I'm pleased with that as well. So this is actually a wood construction. The handle here is wood and this portion here is wood. Then you have basically a, like a cushion here that your wires come through. The wires are all stainless steel and they are all bent at an angle like that for being able to, to trap the hair more effectively. I feel like the brush is really easy to use. The handle's really ergonomic. There's only so much you can say about how a, a brush is shaped, but it's shaped in a good way. There's also the paint coating on here is not really slick. It has kind of a matte finish almost rubberized, but it is just painted on. So I'll go ahead and show how well the brush works. This is Derby, my old time Scotch Collie. She hasn't been brushed in a few weeks now. Um, and you can see that she has some tufts of hair coming out. This is a little uh, worse than she usually gets, but it's also better for demonstration. So we'll go ahead and start brushing her. So as you can see right away, I'm getting a large tuft of hair. And one thing you're probably noticing as well is that I don't have any hair floating away at all. That's why I like this brush the most and why I thought it deserved a review. It's because it traps every single hair into the brush and it doesn't let any of them go. So I could literally use this brush indoors, not track hair everywhere, and it wouldn't be floating around as I'm brushing. That's one issue that I found with other brushes. You'd be brushing, it might be windy out, the hair might be blowing in your face, or if you're brushing inside, uh, the hair gets everywhere on the floor. That's one nice thing about this brush is that you don't have to worry about the hair floating everywhere. It traps all the hair in the brush, and then you can easily get rid of it by peeling back from this way, and I don't have two hands to show you, but peeling back from this way, and it all peels off like that. So I typically just grab it and peel off the whole chunk if I have another hand to spare, and it just peels off in a big piece. So you just pull opposite the direction from how you were brushing. And then we can continue to brush her. You see there she has the clumps in her hair, get rid of those. And she seems to, to find this uh, brush not uncomfortable as well. Doesn't seem like she finds the metal tines to be too sharp or, or uncomfortable. So here you can see that Derby is shaping up a little bit, getting some of her dead hair out with the brush. And here is all the hair that we were able to get by brushing her. Now, I did wait a little while before I brushed her, maybe a little longer than usual, but that's a pretty significant amount of hair that this brush was able to get off. A lot more hair than other brushes that I've used in the past, so this brush is, is pretty effective. So here she is after being brushed. You can see her coat looks a lot healthier. She doesn't have the tufts. Um, her back looks a lot healthier there as well. And you can tell her coat's a little thinner after all the hair that we've gotten out. So as far as the price of the brush, that is one thing that almost dissuaded me from purchasing it. Like I mentioned, there are three versions, a small, large, and an extra large. This is the large, and this actually runs for $75. But I do think it's worth it for how good of a brush that you get. 
and I don't see this thing breaking down anytime soon or the tines losing their their shape or anything so I think it's definitely worth the money and actually right now on Amazon there is a five dollar off coupon so you can get it for 70 still pretty expensive but I think it's worth it so overall I think this brush is pretty effective it brushes well it works well as a maintenance brush but also as a slicker brush which is what it's intended to be so it makes your dog's coat nice and smooth and so it's really dual dual purpose and so I think that really justifies the $70 price tag plus it's made so well that I don't see this thing breaking anytime soon so you'll probably only need to buy this one brush I hope you found this review helpful overall if you have any specific questions feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible also left a link in the description if you want to purchase the brush but overall I hope you found this review helpful and thanks for watching